Howdy y'all, today I am here with another haul of estate sales that I went to over the week. So this is going to be a haul from January slash February, end of January, beginning of February. And um, I'm not gonna go in any particular order, I don't think, actually, I lie, I will. I'll go in order because then that'll just keep my brain in order. <laughs> I essentially picked up these items within two days one sale one day and about five or six sales today. So, so I'm gonna go in that order, right? The other day first, which is this green stuff you see here, and then today after. So just to start off, I will go ahead and grab these guys. Everything that I bought at this first sale was actually uranium glass and Pyrex. The Pyrex I have upstairs, I didn't bring down, but they are two little fridges. Um, these are a creamer and sugar set, like I said, uranium glass, and I also picked up this three spout measuring cup that is very, very cool. I don't have one of those in my collection, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it for my collection or not. Then I have this citrus remergencer that has the measuring cup, and this is a 16 ounce, so two cup measuring cup, and... I have another set that's different than this, but I'm not sure which one I'm gonna keep, whether I'm gonna keep this one or the one that I currently have in my collection. So I'll look at them together side by side and then decide whichever which one I don't keep is gonna go on my shop. And then I also have this four cup measuring cup jar, I guess. <laughs> and most of these items are like this bright green except for the uh, citrus reamer one. This is more of like a bluish green. And at that sale, I did buy a few other things like the Pyrex uh, fridges that I mentioned, as well as some flower frogs, some vintage kitchen items, all of the small stuff like that I'm not gonna show just because it'll take forever. And also I've already cleaned and put a lot of them like in my stash of kitchen items and flower frogs. So. I'm not gonna go through that, but at that sale, I spent, I believe $90. So that was that day. And then I'll start off with what I purchased today. With the boyfriend, um, we did buy things together. So uh, I haven't done the accounting to split up what was my total and what was his. So I don't think I'm gonna have a full on total. For a few of these I might, but for a lot of them. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the first sale we went to, all of, the, all of the sales we went to today were in Los Angeles. And the first one we went to had a lot of like kitschy vintage 70s things. This was a mid-century home. So I picked up a garlic keeper. I actually picked up two of these and I'm gonna be keeping one of them because I've been looking for a garlic keeper for us and I even thought of that last night, like we really need to get one so that I can keep that separate than the other veggies. And um, this one is gonna be up for sale eventually, maybe soon, maybe it's already sold by the time this is up. Um, then I got this uh, tissue holder cover. That is a yarn knit, as you can see. I did already wash it. It's still a little bit damp, so that's drying. I picked up this um, storage container. I always forget the name of these, but you know, they spin like this. You can put your jewelry, your hair clips, stuff like that in them, and the base is weighted. Um, with this Chanel, um, bath powder and the tissue paper holder. I actually got two tissue paper holders. Tissue paper holders. And this is a wooden and I think the metal is not brass. I'm guessing it's going to be stainless steel. It's really cute. Really cool. I already have a tissue paper holder that's long but not a box one so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep one of those or sell both, so they might be up for sale. Um, next, I got this blue divided casserole Pyrex that has the lid on it, and it is in great condition. There's no chips, no cracks, no anything. Then I got this cheese shaker. So this is an Italian cheese shaker that you 
would put a uh, Parmesan and then shake that onto your pastas and pizzas. I have the uh, little cover. What is this called? The stopper in the kitchen because I washed this and that's still drying. Um, next, I got this little tiny Japanese piggy bank. It says made in Japan, something else on it. I'm not sure. It might be the brand or the maker. Um, it's so freaking cute and adorable. Give me a little side eye. Um, so you put your coins up on top like traditionally, but there's no stopper. These four little feet are open and that was just for like the baking process, but there's no stopper on it. So in order to get the money out, you have to break it. And I do hear and see coins in there. I think it's just pennies. I'm really not sure. Um, but isn't she sweet? She's so tiny. Next, I got this Pyrex, um, what's it called? A hostess dish. I did not find the lid. Um, I actually just sold one of these with the lid this past week. And because this is unlidded, lidless, I'm going to list it for a lot less most likely or possibly wait to find a lid. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. So I got that. And I think lastly at that sale was like fabric stuff. So I got four napkins. They're the Vera brand. These, I'm not sure if they're like very vintage or not, but I know this is something that people collect. Um, a lot of people like the Vera, uh, Vera brand. <laughs> so I'm going to be washing this and then checking to see if they're collectible or if they will sell well or not. And then I got a couple of aprons. So the fabrics, the seller just kind of threw in and we used essentially to wrap these breakable items. So this was thrown in. I actually didn't realize I'd grab this. I had seen it, but I thought to put it back and then somehow it ended up back in my pile. Um, I think this is like a Christmassy apron. I'm really not sure because it has bells and it has these little tinsels on it. So there's this one. Oop, clinking. And then there's this yellow daisy one here. This one is a little bit bigger than I've seen as far as vintage aprons go. So it might be like medium large in comparison to other vintage aprons. Then there's this one here is a sweet white lace. Well, it's kind of like ivory now with I think blue fabric here. I think this might be like a light blue unless it's a bright white and it just looks blue in this lighting. But there's this here. I'll try bleaching it and see if I can get some stains out. And then this one is probably my favorite. It's the sweet sheer apron. It's so cute. It's little blue polka dots and it has ruffles all over it. Super freaking adorable. So I think that was it at that sale. Oh, I forgot one item. This was a vase. Well, actually it was a liquor bottle, a bourbon, a Kentucky bourbon liquor bottle but um, it is missing the stopper. And originally it has like a, a round label on it that has like the Kentucky bourbon label. These were made, I think around 40s, 50s. It actually has this little engraving on the bottom. Actually, it's not engraving, but it is a mark um, by the maker, I'm guessing. And it says federal law forbids sale or reuse of this bottle. So technically I bought this illegally unknowingly <laughs> i think it was more for during the time period when it was made you know because it's liquor but it's empty now so it can be used as a vase or not the next sale we went to i only picked up two items and it was more like a sure i'll get this kind of uh purchase because these were actually thrown in for free here there are six napkins they're kind of retro you know, they're kind of retro 70s. The tags are very worn, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to see who made them, but I'll be throwing these in the wash as well. So those were free. And I picked up this Swung Viking flower vase. It still has water inside, it's drying. Like I said, I washed these. Um, and I picked this up along with some other stuff the boyfriend got for $40. So 
I gotta see how much this was. The next sale we went to, I only picked up um, two items essentially. Well, a couple of office supplies that I need as well as these two little kittens. These I think are a set because they're identical design and they're cute little like Siamese kitties. I'm not sure if they're truly supposed to be Siamese kitties because their necks aren't like super long like retro vintage ones are but these are cute sweet little kitties and I'll be selling those as a pair on my shop because I'm not the biggest fan of kitties even though they are really cute but I know these are something that people will appreciate and enjoy so I got those. The next sale we went to had a lot of very cutesy, girly things. The house was adorable. It was this pink, like adobe style home that's actually going to be torn down, which kind of breaks my heart because it was beautiful. Like that would be a home I would want to purchase and live in, but it's, you know, a couple million dollars. So it was right by Rodeo Drive. There's no way I can afford that at this point in time, but I could afford a few of their items that they had. I got this little piggy bank and, um, it is a blue Tiffany & Co piggy bank. It's a sweet little piggy. Um, I might just keep this for myself. I'm not too sure, I haven't decided. I know they sell for about $100. The next things I got are these six little Fire King ramekins. You can hear Mona walking around. Oh, they're not Fire King, they're glass bake. I lied, glass bake custard ramekins. And baby, are you okay? She's sniffing everything. She's like, what is all this new stuff, mom? Um, so I got these six that I'll be listing together as a set. I got these two picture frames that are made with brass. And they're very similar to the way brass curio cabinets are made with little pin openings here on the side. I'm not too sure if these are true vintage or not. These were gifted to me because if you can see here, this bit is damaged. And I think these were actually possibly attached somehow. Maybe not, I don't know. It seems like there was another little loop for, for it to attach to something else. I'm not sure, but these were gift, gifted to me by the seller. And I picked up this Lucite eraser. You know those pink erasers that we used to use in school and you'd use the corner edge and get round. Look at that, that's exactly what this is. So picked this guy up. I also got this little antelope. It looks very much like the antelope uh, mounts that I have. So I'm not sure if I'll polish this up or keep it as is, list it or keep it. I gotta ask the boyfriend because he actually picked this out. So I'm not sure if this is a his buy or a me buy. I'll ask him later. <laughs> but I thought to show y'all just in case it's a me, me buy. And the last item, oh, actually, that's where I got this guy. But second to the last item is this coffee percolator. I don't know where I left the cord, but the cord plugs in here and you put your coffee in this top bit here, fill the jug up with water, stick that in there, connect it, and it's supposed to make coffee. I didn't test it out at the house, of course. Um, I also didn't test it out here. I just washed it and here it is. So I may, may attempt to use it. I may attempt to use this just to see if it works or I might just list it as is because you know I'm slightly terrified if I do decide to try it out and see if it works. I'm going to definitely use an extension cord because the cord that comes with this is very old. I'm not sure what year this is from, but it has the beautiful starburst design all around. So I'm going to do some research on that before, you know, I burn the house down. So I got that, which leads us to the, oh, right, this guy, before I move on. I got this gigantic brass trash can paper bag trash can it's really cool um i didn't think it through though because it's a large and in charge can and i'm not sure if i list this on etsy whether it's worth shipping so i might look into listing on offer up or facebook marketplace or ebay or somewhere else because she's expensive 
and she's heavy, so I'm, that's probably not a smart buy. Um, so anyway, the last place we went to, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the last place we went to was this $30 million house. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. Gosh, everything they had was super expensive. Um, pretty much like the going rate for whatever item they had was essentially what they were listing everything as, except for these candlesticks. So I got them. Let me show you. So as you can see here, this guy's not even in frame. Um, the shorter guys right here, so they have this like big dome and these little bulbous areas, <laughs> as well as a catch for some of the wax, as well as the top catch where it has a spike for you to stick your pillar candle in. And um, this guy is, I'm gonna say, about 24 inches tall. It might be taller. I'm gonna say 24. I'm gonna go with 24 inches, and then this guy, I think, is 36 inches. He still has a piece of candle up on top. Um, and they all kind of come apart. I accidentally dropped this earlier because she failed me. Um, and it got a little bit dented, but not too much. And the reason I purchased this is one, it's beautiful. This pair is a beautiful pair of candlesticks and they're very large. Um, they were surprisingly inexpensive for what they are since they are solid brass. They do come apart at least in two pieces. So this guy here unscrews there. And I think also here, I'm hoping so because, oh, I think the base even unscrews one more time. <laughs> I'll have the boyfriend help. But it looks like there's a thread down here, so this might come apart one more time. Hello. Um, so if so, if I decide to sell these, I can ship them more easily. Sorry, I'm being distracted. So I'll have to play around with these and see how I can take them apart and whether they're worth shipping or again, listing for sale in person for pickup. Sorry. All right, y'all. So that is my haul of everything that I purchased over this week or so. Um, I do have, like I mentioned, other items that I purchased, but it's too tedious to pick everything out and bring over here. So um, I decided to do this here in the bedroom because it's right down from the kitchen where I washed all these items. So as I dried them, I just brought them over instead of taking upstairs to my office. So I'll do that eventually throughout the week, possibly tomorrow. It's Saturday, by the way. So possibly tomorrow on Sunday, but I do have a lot of homework. So without further ado, I'll just end this video here and go on with my night. There is a gigantic mosquito. Okay, well, good night, y'all.